So I know there's videos out there on the SOS error for BMWs and how to fix it with the most jumper. So I did it and there were some things that weren't clearly illustrated in other videos so I want to share it with you because I almost actually went out and bought another fiber adapter to fix the SOS most uh, fiber optic bypass. So I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I did to get it to work and uh, make sure you don't make the same mistakes I did. Okay, so we're going to be doing this on a 2006 650, but this is pretty much the same procedure for any BMW, Audi, Mercedes. Um, the symptom, when you turn on your car, is this. See the SOS malfunction there? SOS call system malfunction. You'll have no audio at all, and what that means is the fiber optic network within the car can't communicate because of a bad component. Now there's several components on the fiber optic loop. There is your CCC, which is behind here as a unit. That goes bad, but that's not the problem here. You have your TCU, you have your amplifier, and you have your satellite radio. So luckily, based on research, it's like 80% of the time you have this SOS issue, it's the satellite radio that dies. And I don't use satellite radio, so I don't really care about that. So we're gonna bypass it using a fiber optic most adapter. So let's turn this off and go to the trunk. Now when you buy one of these most adapters, it's gonna look something like this, right? First mistake I made was I bought a male version. The male version, as you can see here, is meant to go into a socket. Well, that's wrong. Get the female version, and I'll link to that in the description. Now, when you get the female version, and you take your trunk apart to get access to uh, the satellite radio unit, which uh, I'll do right now, you're going to lift this up. And then over here on the left, you're going to pull all this apart. And it'll be a little harder than that, but you'll get it apart. Mine's already loose. So once you have this cover removed you'll see your power amplifier here and then below that you'll see your satellite radio okay this is a 650 again it may be in other locations in your vehicle but for 7 series 6 series it should be the same in the back you're going to have a fiber optic connector going to your satellite radio unplug that from here and you'll see it's a male connector and that's why we need the female fiber optic bypass inside of here you're going to see two fiber connections you're just basically going to make a loop with that adapter i showed you earlier when you get your female adapter it's not going to fit in on this male connector so you're going to have to really completely remove the perimeter of the plastic plug to get it to fit over there so in the end after you remove the trim from your fiber optic connector you're going to get it looking something like this and just peel all that plastic away with pliers until you just have those two prongs those two prongs are going to fit nicely just like this it doesn't matter the orientation it's just a fiber optic loop you can put it either way okay then i'm going to take a zip tie and secure this so it stays in there and now you bypassed your satellite radio and the car will be back to normal. So let me get a zip tie and we'll go back in the car and you can see everything is good to go. Now we're just going to take a zip tie, put it behind this harness, go through the middle of the loop, cinch that down in such a way where it fits nice and snug. There you go, that fiber optic loop is not coming out. Now it's bypassing satellite radio. There. Slide this back down. And we're all secure. Now we can go back in the car and check it out. Back in the car. Let's turn it on. We have our music back again. No SOS error. And you'll notice in your CCC or CIC, depending on your car model, if you go into entertainment, satellite radio is grayed out now, and that's because we bypassed this, so it's no longer on the menu. So we're good to go, everything's fixed, no thousand dollar bill from BMW. Um, we completely avoided this dealership with a ten dollar part, and you're good to go. So again, the link for the part is in the description. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Please like and subscribe if this helped you out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll definitely answer them ASAP.